while watching Adam the Woo, I am working on several projects. One of which is taking all these seeds that my dear friend Tony gave me when she moved. She was my neighbor across the street, and she gave me this whole bag of seeds. I don't know how old they are. I don't know if any of them will still work, but we're going to do an experiment. I have one of my dumpster zippy bags here, and I've got my dumpster scissors, and we are going to just, oh, and my dumpster stool right here. Ottoman. I'm um, going to dump a whole bunch of seeds that are meant for the same kind of area, like full sun or partial sun or shade, whatever, and mix them into a bag and then sprinkle them throughout the appropriate areas in my garden. And then by the end of summer, we'll just see what has popped up, if anything. Hopefully, a whole bunch of stuff, but it's going to be an adventure. I'm pretty excited. Right, so here is the one that Olivia found in the church dumpster and the slide part works but the pool part does not and we weren't sure what to do oh one of the flower things also fills up we weren't sure what to do we were pretty bummed but we figured well we'll just cut this part off uh, outside of the seams and we could use it as a fun floaty but then in that fabulous pick well, I don't know if I can even call it a pick but all of that great stuff from my dear friend's basement clean out, there was this awesome pool. So we filled that up, tested it out, and it's awesome. You'll notice all these parts here where something is missing. We are quite certain that it used to have one of these kind of slides. Ta-da! So I am going to go ahead and cut that slide off, and we're gonna see if we can safely use it with this pool. It'll, it'll be interesting. There's these like little hook thingies here. I'm wondering if we can securely attach it that way. I don't know. If nothing else, it will at least be a floaty in the pool. So cool how we just like manifest to the universe. Here's the stuff that we want, that we need, or that would bring extra happiness to our lives. And guess what? We find it or it shows up at our door coolest thing guys put that positive energy out there do the work spread the word and magic magic happens okay i cut the elephant slide out we need to fill put a little more air in it cut one of the flowers because it fills so there's a little floaty uh gonna add more air yep gonna add more air to the elephant and um there you go not sure how we'll attach it or if we'll just use it as a floaty, but uh, we're pretty excited. I've also decided what I'm going to do with this fabulous Minnie Mouse fabric that we found in the bins. I am going to make it into head or headbands, head scarves, like uh, hankies, handkerchiefs. You may have noticed that in the summertime, I wear handkerchiefs on my head most every day especially if I am dumpster diving or hiking. I, I wear tons of them and I definitely don't have enough. So how cool would it be to have this lovely fabric as a handkerchief or four or five? We'll see how many I can get out of this. I have my own sewing machine. So, oh, and remember I found, oh, I'll have to get up in the attic, but it's way too freaking hot up there right now. But anyway, yeah, super hot day today. I did find that spool of pink thread in the bins another time, I don't remember, but I'm thinking it might match this pretty close to perfect. We, we shall see. But anyway, these are going to be handkerchiefs, headscarves, whatever you'd like to call them. So I'm just kind of ghetto measuring one of my trusty uh, handkerchiefs. 
thank you, Reagan, against the fabric to get an idea. I didn't realize that this is actually two, thank you, honey, two cut pieces of fabric, not folded. So it's gonna be, it might be a teeny bit tricky. I might have to make them a little bit smaller. But another thought I had in mind is to do just triangles. It won't have the same absorption ability by not having the fold, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll do two halves, like two uh, triangle scarves and one full scarf because this other remnant or this other part of the remnant, this other piece, I don't think is, is quite big enough to fit a whole nother handkerchief unless maybe I do one like for the girls or two for the girls, we'll see. But, uh, oh, we, I mean, we could get two almost full-sized ones. And, you know, honestly, I really think, sorry, I'm thinking out loud, guys. That's part of my process. But I think that might be the way to go because I just really like having the extra absorption of having it folded, having the two layers. I know this is a different kind of fabric to be doing a handkerchief with, but I think it's gonna be awesome. I do. We have finished our hike, and our reward is coming into the Provo, Utah post office to check our P.O. box. See if any of you lo lovely frugal friends have sent us anything. We're excited. Oh, there's a key. I know what this is for. Okay. Let's see. Look for why. Oh, here it is. Let's see what's in there. Aha! Whoops, sorry. Huge box. Let's see. I bet I know. Yep, this is from Intuitively One. The other box that she was telling us was on its way. We're so excited and spoiled. All right, let's open this up. She told us there would be books coming. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's let mommy pull them out. I can draw animals. People would love the cover. Well, this is for mommy. Large print word search. What I want to know is intuitively one. Is it okay if I call you Michelle? I'm never sure if I should say people's real names or just their handles or what. But um, anyway, I won't say last names, but anyway, what I wanna know is, did you get these out of the bins? It'd be so cool if you did. It's awesome if, if they aren't from the bins, if you bought them, hello, we're in love with them either way. But I do wanna know if they're from the bins because the last box that you sent us had lots of stuff that was from your dumpster diving. So now I wanna know, did you find these ridiculously amazing, fabulous books, including this word search, in the bins. This says the ultimate book of kid con concoctions. Oh no. Oh no. Bubbles, tattoo paint, fantasy fossils, tropical rain stick. Oh no. Funny putty. Oh boy. I can see Lulu and Reagan making messes with that. And there's another one of concoctions. This is book two. And there's book three. This one. Oh, Lulu, this one is Kid Concoction's cookbook. Let's see. Sloppy Joe biscuit pots, fossil suckers. Okay, awesome. We are so doing that because we have all those lollipop sticks that we found in the bins in a package. And we did just recently invest in a candy thermometer. So that's going to be awesome. Potato dough, minty green shake. Mm, that sounds good right now. Okay, this one says the ultimate book of holiday kid concoctions. Okay, we're gonna have to do several videos just based on these concoction books and trying some of this stuff out. You know this is for mama right here. Variety puzzles and games. Oh yes, that is for mommy. And I did just finish one of my puzzle books that I had in the bathroom. Oh, Reagan. Oh, no. Look at this face. He's so happy. Wait, there's another one. Okay, hold on, hold on. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? And, oh, no. How do dinosaurs say I love you? All right, all right. 
Let's see. Kids are cooking. All-time favorite recipes that kids love to cook. Star awesome. Wars, hold on, hold on. Mimi's so excited. Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Oh, Reagan. I've been watching The Clone Wars. Let's see. Step-by-step -step face painting guide. Oh, oh, there comes Lulu. There she comes. She's been wanting to bust out our face paint. <gasps> hold on, Mimi. Hold on. Hold on. Just a sec. Us born drawing fun. Fun with pencils. We'll add that to the art center. And here's the one Mimi is jumping up and down about. Huh? What is it? Princess. Worlds of Wonder. Disney Princess. And finally, Rainforest Animals. World Book Encyclopedia. That's fantastic. What do you guys say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with these books. Problem is, how am I going to get them to get back to chores? There's we'll find a way. We are at the dollar store looking for the elusive Pokemon cards and some groceries and who knows what else we'll find. What? Ooh. It's a shiny one. A Rubik's Cube. Well, 3D puzzle. These are new. They're these boxes. It has 150 stickers, all Disney. Four rolls. Might grab some of these for our scrapbook. But which ones? I want some that are kind of gender neutral. What'd you find? Oh, that's so pretty. Puzzles. Dollar store is the place for puzzles. Hmm. Right, but I want something that's just straight uh, Mickey Mouse for our scrapbook. Our summer scrapbook. Hmm. Anyway, super awesome. New find. Way cool. I have not seen these Crayola books here before. This is awesome. These at like the grocery store are like five bucks, six bucks. And there's these packs as well. There's Frozen, we love that. That's pretty awesome. There's all these like, well to me, random monsters. I'm not familiar with them, but all the Marvel and Barbie and Disney is fabulous and then watch out baby we found these stickers right here and actually I think these are gonna work better than the rolls of stickers for our purposes they do not have our regular Alfredo sauce that comes in a glass jar but there is yeah gra we love these gnocchi they are fabulous with some pesto yeah we need to get some more pesto but anyways we're going to grab a couple of these these have never been here before they're canned Prego Classic Alfredo. So this will be an experiment. Hopefully these aren't replacing the glass ones. Well, unless they end up being super yummy, then of course we'll be glad. We found some of these Top Blocks brand imitation Legos and Olivia says that the boards that we got were actually this brand and they work great. So I'm wondering if we shouldn't try out some of these. There's not really any fun colors, just one yellow and a whole bunch of white. We're also looking for slime. Yeah, we're also looking for slime, but this might, we'll give them a try. We'll give them a try. Stay tuned for a review. All right, I'm not we seeing slime. Make well, grab the yellow as well. Well, no, we better not because we don't know if these are any good. So we've looked at the guitars for like ever and ever, but they were always like funny colors and really wacky. Olivia found this natural looking one, so we're gonna get that There's for our American electric. Girls. There was, electric there was an electric too. one. Th this is what I've been wanting for our American Girl dolls. So the other ones cost like $50. yeah, the the actual like American Girl ones, fifty bucks or more. So is that? But is that broken? Yeah. Yeah. Get get a different one of this because like that's torn and that's broken. Okay. So I also found these raised stickers that are awesome. We visit, well we've already visited once and we will be visiting again the Dinosaur Museum. So that's awesome for our summer, summer of fun scrapbook. And then some butterflies. We've been seeing tons of butterflies on our hikes and these ones happen to have music notes like sheet music. And all three of the kids are learning piano right now. 
And then these are perfect. These are for the art pages. I've been trying to decide and figure out how in the world am I gonna represent all the art and crafting that we've been doing with our new crafting center. And I found these and they are absolutely perfect. And we did get the bricks. So we'll be trying those out. We got the guitar, we'll be trying that out. And we went with these for the Mickey Mouse stickers. We got several of these really pretty lights this year. They have the ones with the really, I mean, really pretty plastic there, all detailed. So I got several of those for the front yard. Lemon juice is another thing I get tons of at the dollar store. We use it to clean like everything. So grabbed a whole bunch of that because we were out. Pretzels, some bacon bits, and it's even the McCormick brand. So good stuff. The gnocchi. Oh, and the Stouffer's brand whales. They are fantastic. So yummy. We did pretty awesome. I'm, I'm pretty proud of us. Oh, and coffee filters. That is where we always get our coffee filters because they're a dollar. It is hot. I mean, it is hot. It's almost 100 degrees. But Lulu and I, we've gotten the groceries done. We just got done in the grocery store. And we're going to head home. But we wanted to show you guys this awesomeness first. So this grocery store, they're awesome. And when they're like, I need to pay more attention to their ads. But anyway, the past couple weeks, there have been these deals where if you buy X amount of groceries, which if we're gonna be buying our weekly groceries, we always meet their limit or minimum, whatever. But anyway, at the register, the girl says, yeah, if you spend over $75, you get a free s'mores kit. And do you want it? And I'm like, do I want it? Are you insane? It's free, of course I do. So you've got a six pack of full size Hershey's milk chocolate bars. You've got honey made, made with real honey, graham crackers, and Western family brand marshmallows. And how cute is this nonsense? Oh, and it extends? I did not realize that. It extends 33.5 inches. That's fantastic. Cute little handle, and it's got little pokey things, but these things are covering them. So yeah, awesome. All right, well, we're gonna go home and put all this stuff away before it melts, and we do too. We'll see you all soon. Have a wonderful day, frugal friends. Special thanks to our Patreon patrons. Every dollar that you pledge each month goes straight into our gas tank, making the mission of saving and salvaging possible. If you are interested in donating in this way and contributing to the mission, go ahead and look in the video description for links to Patreon and our other social media. Have a great day, guys.